friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Jason Kelsey stops at his hometown McDonald's with a special surprise for his favorite worker. Written by Julie Provost, read by Julie Provost. Jason Kelsey from the Philadelphia Eagles went through McDonald's drive through and gave an employee something special. Jason is an American football center for the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFL. He and his brother Travis also host a podcast called New Heights. If the name Travis Kelsey sounds familiar, it should. He too plays for the NFL, for the Kansas City Chiefs, and is dating Taylor Swift. Daniel Bonham, the McDonald's employee, was starstruck when Jason Kelsey came through her drive through for the first time. So much so that she took a photo and posted it on her Facebook, gaining a lot of attention. Jason continued to come through the drive through and now knows Daniel by name. Right before Christmas, he came through, and the two had a very touching conversation. I thanked him for everything he does for the community, Daniel said. To my surprise, he turned around and expressed gratitude, thanking me for always being kind. He went on to say, You're one of the best people that works for this corporation. It was such a touching moment that I found myself in tears. In a YouTube video from Fox 29 Philadelphia, we hear that Jason could be retiring from the NFL in the near future. They talk about the love the community of Heverton, Pennsylvania, a suburb 30 minutes outside of Philadelphia, has for Jason, who owns a home there. Carl Henderson of Carl's Cards and Collectibles went on to say, I've seen a lot of sports athletes come and go, but Jason's a special dude. He also made the comment that he's got his footprint all over this town. It is clear that Jason is a big part of the Haverton community and has touched many of the people who live there, just like he has touched the life of Danielle. The video has a clip of Danielle, and she tells Fox 29 that when Jason started going through the drive through she was going through a difficult time in her life. She says, he motivated me when I didn't have much motivation. In mid-January, Jason Kelsey gave Danielle quite a gift, one that she will remember forever, a signed Kelsey Green Eagles jersey. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowls of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering. Colossians 3.12 Two baristas heroically fight off robbers. Then the Starbucks employee gets fired. Written by Mel Johnson. Read by Julie Provost. Usually when a Starbucks employee gets fired, it doesn't make national news. However, this particular instance is getting a lot of attention because the alleged termination comes after the employee successfully thwarted a robbery. To many, Michael Harris and his co-worker, Devin Jones Ransom, are heroes. Yet their bravery appears to have cost them their jobs. The incident took place at a Starbucks in Missouri. Two men, seemingly armed, entered the coffee shop and attempted a robbery. I thought I was going to die that day. They walked in, announced that it was a robbery, Michael Harris recalled. They started going up to people and frisking them for stuff. The robbers wanted Michael to empty a cash register. However, he wasn't able to open it. One of the robbers then hit Michael on the head with his weapon, but the gun broke into pieces. The trigger for it busted off, Michael said. That's when Michael and the others realized the weapon was fake. And in that moment, they decided to fight back. One of the robbers took off, but Michael and his co-worker Devin succeeded in subduing the other man. They kept him there until police were able to respond and take over the scene. The community hailed Michael and Devin as heroes, applauding them for stepping up and saving the day. However, according to Michael Harris, a few weeks after the third robbery, the Starbucks employee got fired. They terminated me, he said. He went on to allege, they really didn't give me a reason why I was terminated. They just told me I was and I had to accept it. Losing his job came as a complete shock and it devastated the 20-year-old. That job was helping me pay for college, Michael explained. I just don't understand it. I thought it was the right thing to do. Starbucks asserts that Michael and his co-worker didn't follow the proper protocol to de-escalate the situation during the attempted robbery. The safety and well-being of our partners, employees, and customers is always our first concern, the company said in a statement. All partners are expected to follow our carefully crafted protocols to ensure the safety of customers and partners during these situations. At the time of hire, the statement continued, and once a year thereafter, all partners go through de-escalation training, 
Part of that training includes armed robbery scenarios where partners are asked to comply with demands and to avoid doing or saying anything that can escalate the situation. Now, Michael Harris is fighting back yet again. He has enlisted the help of attorney Ryan Krupp in a lawsuit against Starbucks because of the termination. They didn't create the dangerous scenario. They just did what they were supposed to do in that scenario, Ryan explained. It happens fast. There's no way that an individual can be faced with danger, attempted potential death of themselves or another, and then once they've been hit or downed, that they cannot defend themselves. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production. <laughs>